As Paul continues his letter to the believers in Corinth, he calls them out as being immature in the faith. For they were a fighting over who they were following. Paul quickly corrected them and encouraged them to follow only Jesus, our true source of wisdom and spiritual growth. Our text for today is 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Divisions in the church. Paul writes, But I, brothers, could not address you as spiritual people, but as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. And even now you are not yet ready, for you are still of the flesh. For while there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not of the flesh? And behaving only in a human way. For when one says, I follow Paul, and another, I follow Apollos, are you not being merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you believed, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building upon it. Let each, let each one take care how he builds upon it, for, one, for no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw. Each one's work will become manifest, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed by fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work that anyone has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. If anyone's work is burnt up, he will suffer loss, though he himself will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you thinks that he is wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is folly with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise that they are futile. So let no one boast in men, for all things are yours whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death or the present or the future, all are yours and you are Christ's and Christ's is God's. With this text, Paul reveals why it is so important that we lay our foundation in nothing other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because, well, he tells us what the Lord's church is made up of. People like you or me. The church is where 
the presence of God is. It is not a physical building with its foundation in rock or bored into the earth, but rather we are living stones of the Lord's church on earth, built on the foundation of Christ himself. The presence of God as the Holy Spirit is now in all of us. Therefore, the church is not confined to a certain place, on a certain street, with a certain address. But rather, the church is able to go to and fro so that God can reach the lost souls right where they're at with the good news of Jesus. We are the Lord's church. He works in and through us. May God, through his good news and through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, work in and through us so that he could reach more people through us. Amen.